In Brad Studio XE3, we've updated the version info dialog box so that you can now specify information for either a Delphi or C++ project. When version information is included, the user can right mouse click on the program icon, select properties to display the version info. There's many different options you could set. Let's take a look at them. Say file new, FireMonkey C++ desktop application. And now we can go to the project options look at the version information and look at the different options for each target configuration that's available for your project. There's a checkbox to include version information of the project. You can also then set the major minor version release and build number. And there's a new option here, build number options, where you can choose to not change the build number, auto generate a build number, and auto increment a build number. You can also specify module attributes, debug build, pre-release, special build, private build, and so on. You can always specify the locale ID, and then you get to see what the values will look like. So let's start building our versions and put them in the version information. So this is our first major release. Let's go and save this project out to a folder, and we'll give the project name uh, version test, and then do a build. Now we can go to the folder Go to the Win32, debug was the build we were doing, right mouse click on the executable, look at the details, and now we started with the product version number, and the file version has been incremented to be 1.0.0.1. We could also generate and update the version number, so we'll make a change. Let's add a button to this project. Let's save it back. Let's make sure the options are set for our version information. We'll bump the version number and do a build. Let's go back and look at the version number. Now we've got our file version 2.0.0.2. It's the second build, and we bumped that major version so we can see it there. The build number options specifies how the build number changes each time you select project build. Auto generate build number creates the release and build number for you and increments the numbers each time you select project build. Auto increment build numbers increments the build number each time you do a project build menu is selected. Other compilations do not change the build number. So let's leave it as auto generate build number and do a build. Let's go look at the information in the properties. So now you've got a file version number for the build. For Macintosh OS 10 applications, this box down here, the key value pair, displays the information in your project's info.plist property list XML file. For a FireMonkey Retina style to display correctly on Mac devices, set the NS high resolution capable equals true. And we can set that key value pair or any key value pair that we want by right mouse clicking and saying add key. Again, for Retina display, NS high resolution capable and set the value to true. Now let's add a target platform for OS 10, and we'll also do a build here. So now that we've built this project for Mac OS 10, let's go look at the information that was generated. If we go over into the OS 10 debug build folder, we can see the version test info plist file. We can go and open that and notice that there's a key there for NS high resolution capable set to true for the retina display.